Here, I wanted to say one thing at that time. I visualized beyond today and tomorrow. I thought information technology is one where it is going to become backbone for knowledge economy. Always what you are searching now, technology, solutions, everything. I had a big vision for the state. 2020 vision. Then to make it, I make it a central point, information technology. To start with, I want to construct how to move forward. I had a number of brainstorming sessions. Finally, we came to conclusion, one city that is iTech city. That is the building, first building in a vacant land, we built that on BOT. At that time, LNT is the leading construction company. We asked them to complete. They asked me two years. I negotiated them. Ultimately, we agreed 14 months. 14 months, we complete that building at that time. Now technologies are changed. It is a different issue. From then onwards, Hyderabad, all these things. If you see here, I am very happy today. After 25 years, Silver Jubilee celebrations, I came and I am witnessing. Um, totally, whenever there is a project, you may not remember. Youngsters may not remember. You may see that board. How we transformed this institute, that is an amazing experiment. I am really happy to associate with you at the very, very pleasant momentum. If you see Hyderabad today, brick by brick we built. At that time, this area, it is very interesting for all of you. It is all barren lands. The then Chief Minister, earlier Chief Minister than me, one Mr. Chennareddy has constructed this building for Rangarad district, district headquarter. People of Rangarad district refused to come here because it is far away. Beyond this, there is only Central University, so we don't want to go. Then I started next to this, if you see here, sports complex, Gachiboli. Next to that, ISB. Next to that, Microsoft. Then financial district. Everything one by one we added. Today, Hyderabad, we had so many plans at that time. Even if you are seeing Genome Valley. One is information technology. One is biotechnology. One is pharma. Another is finance. Supporting with all these things, human resource development, education, institutions, and also so many hospitals, everything has come. So, how to, if you see here today, as you rightly mentioned, outer ring road. I have seen Malaysia at that time. Malaysia, two crore population. India, nearly 120 crores population at that time, 110 or 120 crores. They had east-west corridor with eight lane. India, we don't have one proper road. Then one is golden quadrilateral road. That is what I suggested to Vajpai, the then Prime Minister. That is how it has happened. And also in Hyderabad, I want to have 165, 162 kilometers roughly outer ring road. Everybody criticized me. No, Hyderabad needs this type of road. What is eight lane? What is service road? What is metro connection? All are necessary like this. Today, it is the outer ring road. It has brought very good advantage for Hyderabad. No other city is in a position to emulate this type of development. Most uh, livable city. No traffic jams. And also if you see at that time, even center, how to go for plantation. We have studied all these things globally. We innovated which is the best way. 
that is how we built i am very happy this is the beginning i remember we used to discuss raj reddy garu myself i have at the time one mr sudan was my it secretary not it secretary personal secretary we used to go to davos every davos we used to discuss at that time there is a laptop okay laptop can be operated only few individuals even how to reach to the common man how common man is going to operate then we used to debate about icons all these things even local languages today all these things have become a reality first more advantage telugu people got it indians got an advantage now globally indians are having excellent advantage on it it has become backbone for knowledge economy and youngsters like you they are all working very well and also they are all becoming entrepreneurs that is the biggest advantage india is having now i am very happy with this any sir what how did you come up with the name triple it and um, who, who were i know mr chandrasekhar and ajay sahani were supporting you in addition i know shreen raju and couple of other people helped to start the triple it society but there has to be a mover prime mover behind all of this which is obviously you and uh, and i was kind of amazed that even at that time you decided we needed a high caliber educational institution and set it up here no as a matter of fact here sen raju was is here from the beginning is working for uh, academic institutions especially institutions of excellence he was associating from then onwards i am very happy for that always i used to visualize there are so many institutions but sometimes we need institutions of excellence this is one of the type isb is one institution of excellence triple it is one nalsar is another and also this type of institutions we have started the need also we discussed at that time not a regular engineering college not a graduation courses even 25 years back we decided to go for post graduation and phd's and also all technologies leading technologies centers has to be here all companies all these things that is the concept we have brought here here another thing there is a non profit organization under the same type ppp model public private partnership generally any government sponsored institutions chief minister will be the chancellor or vice chancellor or some position will have one day raj reddy gar asked me no you be the chancellor i will be the vice chancellor then i told him my position is uh, my post is temporary post if i lose elections next or second elections then somebody will come he may cooperate he may not cooperate better academician should head the institution as <laughs> chancellor that decision one single decision at the time for the last 25 years uninterrupted now it is working as a autonomous body otherwise long back politicians should have grabbed the institution they should have spoiled so that is the inspiration i am very happy for that so obviously you and your colleagues created an outstanding institution there is no other institution in the country especially not in, in, in andhra pradesh and telangana which is been ranked among the top 10 even among the top 5 institutions 
And this institution, starting with nothing 25 years ago, is now ranked among the top 10 in a, in a national league. And certainly, it has a lot to do with how the whole thing was set up. And we had outstanding leadership of uh, Narendra Huja, Rajiv Sangal, and uh, P.J. Narayanan. We, we were very fortunate to have long-term uh, outstanding leader uh, directors who were able to lead the institution to its current level of excellence. And they could not have done it if the original structure of a nonprofit society running it that was set up by Srin Raju and his associates. And uh, we had two outstanding uh, civil servants, uh, AAS officers, Mr. Chandrasekhar and Mr. Ajay Sahani, who, in fact, Ajay Sahani stayed on as special officer for the for the institute for five, six years, or maybe even ten years, I don't know. So, what we are kind of hoping to hear from you is, where do we go from here, if, if, if you have any thoughts? And b what I'd like to do is, ask Ramesh to come back and then um, take over and ask uh, questions and comments and then later on we'll take comments from the audience. Sure, sir. Um, so we asked, like you saw the video, uh, we did reach out to the students and um, just have, have them send, send us the questions in advance so that like uh, they can think. If suddenly, if you ask in the room, they may not be able to come up with a good question. So we had a lot of interest, sir. Normally when we do that, we get maybe 15, 20 questions. We got over 60 questions in the last two days uh, since we reached out. And uh, so we picked a few of those, sir. We'll just, I will just ask those first. And then like my colleague, uh, Professor Aftab is here, uh, faculty. He'll go around and get a few more questions in the room. You should get two mics. Um, so, so let me just pick from some of the questions that were asked uh, earlier, sir. So, um, I mean, uh, Professor Rajadi kind of alluded to this already, but the question uh, from one of our faculty, Deepak, is you had a vision for TripID when you started it. Uh, when you see it now after 25 years, how much has the vision been fulfilled? No, I'm very happy. Things are happening positively. I really appreciate all the dean and also other faculty members and also students for extraordinary work. It is rated one among top ten. That is an incredible achievement. I really appreciate all of you. <laughs> and at the same time, here I wanted to tell you the success story. When I started information technology, nobody understood properly. I used to talk about cell phone, and also deregulation, telecommunication sector. It took for me so much of time to push things. And at the same time, today if you see, earlier we had only 20, 25 engineering colleges. Where you are now, it is Rangar district. This district didn't have 30 to 40 high schools. Today in this district, minimum 150 or 100 engineering colleges are there. At that time, everybody told me, why you are going so many engineering colleges? Even we didn't have faculty members. I made it very clear, okay, doesn't matter, time is very important. First more advantage, you should not lose. Postgraduate students will teach graduate students and they will obtain PhDs afterwards, then PhDs will come for teaching, all these things we have done. Today I am very happy, 25 years, if you see Hyderabad, a knowledge economy. Telangana state is getting highest per capita income in the country itself within 25 years time. That is the power of knowledge economy. And also, Information technology, biotechnology, plus pharma, plus finance, with infrastructure integration. 
that is how we brought it even our samshabad airport for connectivity everything here i wanted to tell you to get one company at that time very difficult hyderabad means it is only a rural and a semi urban so no institutions is, uh, companies used to come even smaller companies at the time only wipro tcs not at emerge infosys also slowly coming even satyam one promoter from here only these are all the companies i wanted to attract microsoft reason is microsoft at that time is a flagship institution if i get microsoft then every entire world will know then everybody will come to hyderabad it took for me so much of time to break through fortunately bill gates visited india then i asked him i will meet he said i don't have any work with politician <laughs> then i told him i am having some work with you i want to meet you <laughs> then with great difficulty with recommendation wisner was the ambassador at that time i remember very well he said i am going for cocktail party you can join you can join or otherwise i will give you 5 minutes i prepared a beautiful presentation everybody discouraged me you are preparing all these things who will uh, say this you may not have time but when i started a presentation because i was a politician at the time never has seen this type of presentation from a politician <laughs> even powerpoint presentations are also new at that time <laughs> then by seeing that he spent with me 45 minutes then i thought i have one hour him <laughs> then he asked me what do you want i told only one thing at that time i don't want any personal favor from you you have to recognize india's talent on information technology reason is very simple mathematics were very strong zero is invented by indian only <laughs> number 2 british while taking even kohenor they left english to us we are very strong in english this two are deadly combination for information technology then he was totally convinced then he told me what can i do for you first only one thing if at all it is possible for you start your development center in hyderabad then i said it's very difficult i didn't think you are embracing me but i am assuring you if at all i start any development center outside seattle first i will consider hyderabad then even then i didn't leave him at that time i went all the way to seattle <laughs> then all the way to davos three four meetings we discussed finally he decided to come to hyderabad ultimately hyderabad person has become microsoft president or ceo today you can see the journey this is where i am saying first mover advantage on information technology because of our inherent strength indians got it in that 30% are telugu people because of first more advantage i am very happy we produced three it secretaries from andhra pradesh <laughs> one is chandrasekhar one is satyanarayana one is ajay sahani who worked here as a director director at the time special officer all three has become it secretaries in delhi that is the power of and the place first more advantage again even secretary is also it is from all the place so this is how we visualized everything sir related question one of our students had asked sir uh, i'm not sure if it's true though i haven't heard of it but she says um, chennai was considered by microsoft how did you convince microsoft to not do chennai and do it in hyderabad no nobody visualized to ask him at that time <laughs> that is very early stage so i was able to first of all nobody had a thought to invite him 
So first I got an idea, immediately I met him, but with persuasion we got it. That is not correct. So we just heard some screams outside. I think some of the students are watching the Chandrayaan launch. So it looks like it's landed. So I think... Yeah. So... One, uh, Ramesh, the rough descent is successfully over. There are four modules. One of the modules is successfully over. Okay. So, so it's not landed yet. It's okay. not, yeah. So we are now that you took over, please, let's get one question. Fingers crossed, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Some more time you have to wait with, <laughs> with uh, tension or enthusiasm. Introduce yourself. Good evening, sir. Thank you so much for coming to IIIT Hyderabad today, sir. My name is Deepti. I am currently pursuing my PhD in EC in IIIT Hyderabad. Uh, today I would like to ask you, uh, we have been seeing, we have been hearing stories about you from our parents. Uh, you have been a very dynamic and powerful leader that India has ever seen. Today I would like to ask you, sir, how do you find peace and calm in all the victories and dejections that you have faced throughout in your life? Thank you, sir. Yeah. Always, this is a case study. <laughs> <laughs> we are in now, Triple IT, this area, Sharing and Public Constituency. Earlier, it was in Kairatabad constituency. After that, because of development, it has divided to three, four constituencies. I developed everything here. I lost elections to third four. Very sad picture. People asked me, you have done everything, but you lost there. How do you justify? Then I told them, getting votes is one. Doing right things is another. I have done right things. I am very happy for that. I am proud of it. Even today, if you see, some of you may not remember when it was started. History, you are not bothered. Only present, you are bothered. Even some road, outer ring road, people will travel, they may not remember. Or airport, they may not remember. Even airport, how much time I spent. Not easily everything has to get, or otherwise there are so many bottlenecks, hurdles, we have to cross over. One example I'm giving you how I brought Hyderabad airport. It is PPP model again. Nobody conceived I, airport can construct with PPP model. When I asked Vajpayee, sir, we need an airport. Then he said, where is money? Immediately what he recollected, airport means central government. This, I had a good uh, number of MPs because of our uh, support he used to continue. At the time, P media used to write, whenever I go to Delhi, Andhra CM is coming with wish list. <laughs> then he asked him, where is money? Then I told him, don't give money. You give me policy. That is enough for me. You want, you can keep it 10% or 15% as equity or otherwise you give it to me, I will take. Then he agreed. But he agreed, God will bless us, but uh, Pujari has to support us <laughs> to do pujas also. <laughs> then I had so many hurdles. I had 32 meetings. One day, Atreya, defense advisor, he came to me when I was in Delhi. Then I had a, I gave him good coffee, everything. Then he told me coolly, sir, you cannot construct airport. Then I was shocked. What are you talking? No, no, sir, it is very danger. Our defense lab is there. Then there is a conflict. You cannot construct. Then I shouted at him. It was advanced stage. Then I went to PM. Then I went to President of India, Abdul Kalam. I told them, it is unwarranted, it is not correct what you are doing. Why these people are here? They should have told me in the beginning itself, I should have shifted or located some other place. Then they constituted a committee under the Cabinet Secretary T.R. Prasad. He gave a report saying that it won't happen. If at all it happened, better to shift defense lab rather than airport. 
that is how i fought people may today you may not know all these things you may not recognize my effort but i am very happy my conscience is saying i have done right things that is the satisfaction i have every inch and recently people uh, covid vaccine in india first covid vaccine where it has come from hyderabad genome valley we started around 2000 it has given very excellent advantage that is how futuristic things we have to plan visualize and execute and and we are living in one of those visions sir this campus what we are celebrating today is one of those visions we're very happy to see that sir uh, one of uh, our finish quick announcement chandrayaan 3 has landed successfully <laughs> Sir, uh, yes, sir, historic moment. Yes, sir. Well, this uh, this will be remembered for future also. <laughs> Triple IT meeting and landing. <laughs> sir, uh, when you started JKC, uh, Amanath Reddy is was running it earlier, and he used to say uh, the government considered this campus to be a lucky mascot. Every initiative started here, whether it was NASG, JKC, uh, RJUKT. Uh, he kept saying multiple times that every initiative started here has been very successful. Yes, sir. ISB also. Sir. Yes, ISB also. Sir, the project office was here, and uh, so I think you come here and the Chandran launch launch yeah, planning is successful. That is good. <laughs> <laughs> Their effort also will uh, put it in our account. <laughs> <laughs> so one of our students has asked this question on uh, on brain drain, a uh, brain drain, and what can government do about it? You had some very interesting views about your P4 and the uh, and the whole five days, sir. uh maybe i think it's, it's if you can touch up on that it answers this question also i think brain drain is not necessarily a bad thing you have some very interesting views on global diaspora of indians uh, if you could share those thoughts sir now this is one more thing i am telling you i am preparing india indians and telugu people vision 2047 in this i gave five principles one principle earlier if you can go through history also economic reforms changed india's uh, development earlier we used to compare india's development hindu development it is less than 2% around 2% because of economic reforms this type of institutions have come human resource development has developed infrastructure has come wealth has been created in early 90s technology revolution has come indians are able to utilize that first more advantage because of that indians are becoming so many indians are becoming advantage of it and also we are able to earn better income if you see in america you can go to any country today highest per capita income or indians i used to compare ones jewish are the best even one person in a city he will control economy of that city today we have crossed jewish also but not in wealth but per capita income that is the strength of indians because of information technology again <laughs> third one india is having a windfall advantage that is demographic dividend compared to all other countries china diminishing returns disadvantage even japan europe you name any country all countries are having disadvantage this advantage will continue another 25 years up to 2047 i am giving five principles now future game changer solar wind pumped energy idle and also hydrogen or out of balance grid management even thermal we are working if you do this agriculture domestic commercial industry and transportation totally we can use electricity 
then fuel and energy cost will be reduced to 20, 30, 35 percent or maximum 40 percent. They can, you can imagine how India is going to shine. Today, our people are able to reach moon very successfully. Now, sun is blessed us with sunlight. We can generate any amount of solar energy so that your panels on the top, you will have AC room here. We can convert it. So this is where I am promoting for this water, second policy. Ganga Kaveri has to be interlinked. This will be the biggest advantage for pumped energy and also hydro energy. This we have to do. There also efficiency we are calculating. Even lifting of water. Again, we have to use that for four generation. It is costing around 20, 25%, 75% net saving of energy. So that is second policy. Third policy, deep drive technology in all walks of life. You are all here now. This is where technology is going to play. Either agriculture, either industry, education, or um, um, health, water management, governance, you name anything, everywhere. Very dominant role in improving the efficiency, in bringing transparency. One GST is giving so much of advantage for uh, taxation. Tomorrow I am asking, abolish 500 rupees, 1000 rupees, 2000 rupees, go for digital currency. A digital currency report I have given. Today, largest digital transactions are from India. That is our strength today. If we do this, corruption, distribution of money in elections will go. Automatically, black money will go. Money won't have a problem. Wealth we can create, and then we can do wonders. Next policy, population management I am talking. I was responsible for population control, family planning. I used to have a big lessons going on, comparing four children mother with one children, one child mother. What is the advantage you are having? What is the disadvantage you are having? All these things I used to compare. Within 10 years, we are able to control population. Today, I am feeling bad. Now, South India is having demographic disadvantage <laughs> compared to North India. Already started this disparity. Now I am promoting population now. <laughs> this is where population management. Generally, after development, one. Second, getting employment, both wife and husband. Everybody is thinking, better to start industry rather than have a kid. This is another psychology. That is how things happened all over the world. From now onwards, if we talk about it, and go for demographic management properly. I'm telling you another, this century belongs to India, not only this century, even two, three centuries belongs to India and public governance and corporate governance. Even you are watching now, vice president in America is Indian origin. Now, president of India, Indian is competing, even Republican Party, is uh, next to Trump. He may win if Trump is disqualified. <laughs> that is how things are happening. Even all corporate companies, Indians are dominating. So this is the advantage. Last point, what I am saying, all of you, be associated with global economy. Think as a global citizen. Aim for global leadership. Either virtual, or physical, either services or products. That is the future. As technology persons, what I am advising all of you, don't confine to only technology provider. Be an entrepreneur. Then you can see the results differently. So I am promoting now fourth po the, in population, P4. P3 is wealth creation. P3 is making rich to richer. I am promoting P4. P4 
people public private partnership thereby i wanted to make port to reach it is possible because technology is available we can do everything it is a matter of time that is my ambition if we can achieve that that is the best way of doing service to this nation great nation that is how we are visualizing on the basis of that i want to prepare vision document india indians telugu people 2047 and beyond very interesting sir um one of i mean our faculty who is also the chair of radhika uh, who is the chair of student affairs uh, you touched upon it but i'm going to ask this question anyway um, you've been always in the front whether it was the vaisa cyclone or pushkaralu or you're always you've been always in the front and kind of uh, leading from the front what message will you give to our young students regarding leadership always leader you want leadership then you have to lead or you wanted to be follower forever you wanted to be follower future is for leaders this is where i am saying always india is providing leadership because of so many advantages we are having exactly 25 years back it was reverse 25 years back no confidence for any indian even to talk outside today because of knowledge because of all these things developments we are able to communicate very well second one as i rightly mentioned one example i am giving you udhud cyclone has come i can divert my officers or i can uh, focus from office and then i can have a teleconferences i thought that is not the correct approach when there was a cyclone i assessed it is a severe cyclone i started from hyderabad at that time it was combined uh, capital then i went to i want to go to i want to go to visakhapatnam where they didn't cooperate with me then i landed in vijayawada then by road i went to rajamandri from there next day morning i went to visakhapatnam 10 days i was there because my presence and my supervision everybody worked very hard that is where whenever there is a issue if there is any necessity leader has to lead he must be in front then everybody will cooperate then things will happen this is what i learned over the years that is what i am practicing today also so we have a question from the one more student sir aftab yes sir namaste prabhakar here from triple uh, it i am an assistant manager student life office so firstly i would like to thank uh, uh, thank you very much because my uh, first uh, income started with your initiative as a contract employee in uh, women development and child welfare department where i was surprised to see the management information system department uh, first of its kind in all the government offices shalini mr ma'am was leading that and we were all providing the data regarding the supplementary nutrition program icds and everything that's where i started working on the computer sir and uh, thank you so much and i'm here again today so my question is sir uh, so you had a nice plan like uh, first you set up a high tech city then slowly triple it then followed by all the industries across i mean around the triple it and followed by engineering colleges with computer sciences it and other areas and getting the manpower so this is a wonderful plan uh, what my question is is this is a self driven or uh, is it motivated from uh, countries where you, you, the uh, the leaders usually visits the other countries so uh, i just want to know that sir. thank you sir no whenever you are having a desire you want to do something and also sir. that vision should be right or otherwise if you follow wrong vision then results may not come then after some time you will be disappointed and then automatically you may demotivated first of all what i have done i wanted to visualize things then i studied studied all over the world people like raj reddy and others i used to discuss then broadly i thought it is the best way to move forward apart from agriculture 
then I construct IT, that is ITXT. Then after that, I named Cyberabad city. Hyderabad is having two cities. One is Hyderabad, historical city. Then Sikindrabad, during British period, it was developed to certain extent. Then we created Cyberabad. Uh, at the time, Hyderabad, Sikindrabad, we had uh, twin cities. We had one more city. Today, Cyberabad is more prominent and also more prosperous. And then, if you start there and stop there, you cannot do anything. Every opportunity we used to grab to reach our vision. One example I'm telling you. When I wanted to go for biotechnology, futuristic technology, then I discussed with uh, Bill Gates. You are in IT, excellent. BT is the future. Why can't you start? Then he told me that is futuristic, futuristic, I don't have patience, I don't have any idea or otherwise I don't want to focus. Then I didn't leave it at that stage. Then I approached ICACI. I created 2000 acres at that time for biotechnology park. Today I am very happy 200 companies are working there. It has become a big city. All these things, how many years? 23 years. There is biotechnology park. At the same time, how to connect it? That is outer ring road. Anybody wanted to go to biotechnology park today, anywhere to anywhere, it is only one hour. I had at that time 30 minutes plan to reach anywhere to anywhere, by road, by metro, everything. Even, you know, at that time, I used to widen the roads. Very difficult to widen the roads because existing buildings. I used to motivate people. I used to earmark. I used to give for them liberally FSI policy. Floor space index like that. They won't lose anything. It is a win-win situation. First time in India, even New York City, they didn't do so many narrow roads. In Hyderabad, all roads we are able to widen. Even any building, we are able to remove and construct road. <laughs> Compensation we have given FSI. Because of that, you can see our roads today. Everything. One example I am giving you, ISP. To get ISP to Hyderabad, I called all Fortune 500 companies. They told me we are coming to Hyderabad, but we don't have any interest. Then I told them, doesn't matter, you come, have a cup of coffee, then you decide. They came to Hyderabad. I sent all my ministers along with uh, Sin Raju and others in a special bus. Go and receive them. They received and came back to me, to my house. Then I received person to person by giving bouquet and shawl. I served breakfast. I gave a presentation. Then they asked me, even today they are teaching there, what you are going to give if you start here. Then I said, you go to all states, what all they say, you listen, you mark plus one, send it to me, I am prepared to honor river commitment. <laughs> With single decision, they went to Chennai, different experience, I don't want to mention all these things. They went to Maharashtra, different experience. They went to Karnataka, different experience. Then they telephoned to me, he was the best quotation or uh, offer. We are prepared to come Hyderabad. That is how I brought ISP. That is the futuristic uh, venture. Even I am telling you how things will happen. Pharma Export Council. They asked me, they asked Maharashtra government 5 crores as seed capital. That government refused. They came and told me, sir, five crores, if you give, we will set up Pharma Export Council. I didn't think even one second, I said, okay, five crores I am giving, you set up. Because of that, all Pharma giants are from Andhra Pradesh, that is earlier Telugu people. Even uh, Reddy Labs, 
our Arbendo, our Divi, all companies, Metro, Hetro, all these companies are there. This is where we visualize something and we focused and we built infrastructure in and around. So that is how we built Hyderabad. I am very happy. You are also one of the beneficiary. <laughs> you are not paying me any <laughs> premium. <laughs> As Raju has rightly mentioned, IRDA. I want to make Hyderabad a financial hub after Bombay. One day, Rangachari was the chairman of IRD at that time. I called him. I want to discuss with him how to make it Hyderabad as a financial hub. Then he told me, sir, uh, you can make it. It will take some time. Then he, where are you now? He said, uh, sir, we don't have office. I am in rented office. Then I got an idea. Immediately I told him, if I give sight in Hyderabad, can you shift your office to Hyderabad? Then he was shocked. Sir, if PM says, okay, I will come. Then I went to Vajpayee. Then I asked him, Sir, uh, IRD office, nobody is giving sight here. I am prepared to give. Why can't you recommend that? Then he asked me, no, no, you are very shrewd. <laughs> if I give so much of freedom for you, you may ask tomorrow, shift capital to Hyderabad. <laughs> <laughs> this is what, <laughs> sir, I am not so greedy. It is only reasonable uh, request I am making. Why can't you think? Okay, call him. He called uh, Rangachari. Then I uh, asked him, what, what happened? What is your view? Sir, I tried my best. Nobody is giving any land. If Andhra government is willing to give land, if you permit, I will shift my office. That is how I brought IRDA headquarters to Hyderabad, that is the financial district today. There is so many stories, every success, there is one story. How we visualized, how we captured, how we motivated, how we brought up with pressure. I think it's a, I think now the financial hub, the financial district is a big hub, so almost every major bank yeah has offices and large offices in Hyderabad now. Yes. Uh, so I think that's a very, I'm sure the, the financial district helped with the branding, uh, bringing those companies here. Um, so there's a question before we take another student question, uh, a quick one. I, I had a, one uh, problem here, you are all there, Gachiboli. Gachiboli is another story. <laughs> At the time, national games has come. I want to conduct national games, thereby I want to build infrastructure. Then I bidded for that. Then they, at the time nobody used to compete also. They are very happy. Somebody is coming. <laughs> we will <laughs> host here. Then they gave me generally existing infrastructure. I can use it. I can complete it. No. I thought I want to build separate city for uh, sports. That is how Gachaboli Stadium, all sports complexes come here. Even us. Uh, uh, accommodation, residential city, everything I built. After that, Afro Asian Games has come. After that, Commonwealth Games has come to Delhi. But Commonwealth Games, they passed up. Even at that time, Prime Minister used to come for valedictory inauguration by President of India, that is the convention. Both as announced, I forced them to announce Olympic Games. India is capable of conducting Olympic Games. If you can compete today, it will come another 10 years, 15 years, you have to compete. They said, we are prepared, we will do it. But that also is pending even today. Long back we decided to conduct, never we conducted Olympic Games so far. Even small countries are conducting. Day will come, regularly we are going to conduct even Formula One, Coca Pet. At that time, I decided to have Formula One. All the way, I went to Italy to meet that uh, owner. Then agreed to come to Hyderabad. But somehow, in politics, my competitor at that time used to attack me. Now you want for, um, car racing. <laughs> that is how he branded uh, me as pro-rich, all these things. Then it has gone. Even IMG at that time, 
we had a very good understanding with IMG for sports, international best company, consultancy company. That also has gone because of politics. So before we take that question, one quick question, sir. Do you sleep at all? <laughs> <laughs> That's your question, sir. <laughs> yeah, earlier, yes. Only one hour, two hours like that. Now, we need more time to rest also. <laughs> or otherwise, we'll have a problem. But always, this is where technology, all these things are coming. If you can maintain, I'm working a project, all students are here. Uberization of knowledge through technology. That is what is happening on Amazon.com or Flipkart or any, any other things for that matter. Future is for entrepreneurs, this is the way to move forward. One project we are doing here, this is Nutrifull. Food as a medicine, kitchen as a pharmacy, IoT devices will use it, laboratory tests, all these things will take, blood test, all these things. Then we will prescribe food and how to take food, what is the body needs, carbohydrates, fat, protein, vitamins, <coughs> minor nutrition values, all these things. So, basing on that nutrition, what you call customized nutrition, we can give it to everybody. Then once in three months, they will see the results. They are having patient. They can uh, enter every day. We can monitor very easily. Future, I am telling you, even everything has come. Generally, people ask me, why you are having this ring? This is not a spiritual ring or religious ring. It is only aura ring. I can know my sleep, my readiness of the body, some more details. Now, ultra human sensor has come. Glucose level, it will tell you at any time. So, this is the future if you can manage properly rest, food, and work balancing. Then you can do wonders. I strongly believe this. That is where, with passion, I am promoting this project. Now, 80,000 customers are joined in Nutrifull. I am going to reach lakh very soon. This year, our target is 2 lakhs, 2 and a half lakhs. Next year, one year, it will be 15 lakhs like that. Even minimum 40 to 50 percent, we can go for prevent to health. Have your food. Don't compromise. But at the same time, what you eat, you measure what you are eating. That is enough. That is where I am saying in future, this type of things are going to come in a big way. If you use all these things properly, India will become very, very, not only wealthy nation, healthy nation. That is how we have to plan it. Sir, I know we said one hour. If you're okay, can we take a few more questions? Say five more minutes. Okay, no problem. Yeah, I know you have a flight to catch. No, no, no problem. P okay, sir. Uh, yes. Good evening, sir. I'm M. Nitish Kumar. I'm currently pursuing PhD in uh, EC in Tubulati, Hyderabad. My question is, um, did you foresee the power of artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning 20 years ago while construction of uh, high-tech city? Yeah, you are right. At that time, we didn't foresee. But generally, we used to discuss what is the advantages in technology. In the beginning, we had an understanding. Transparency, accountability, speediness. These are all advantages. Any competitor to compete, information technology is a must. After that, slowly, if you see here, I visited Singapore. Singapore is advanced at that time. They used to have computerization in government also. We want to work with them. Again, so many political issues. I was unable to, not in a position to push that. E-governance, we introduced long back. Secretary information system, management system, all these things. At that time, we used to have some analytics. To that extent, everything is uh, possible. Today, artificial intelligence, chart GPT, 
tomorrow it will mature further democratization of knowledge all of us are here without chat gpt on subject somebody will have 30% knowledge somebody will have 80% knowledge 90% knowledge that is what you call knowledge or intuition then decision making on the basis of that if you take a decision who is having more knowledge more intuition in for future they will be successful today your it this uh, artificial intelligence or gpt chat gpt level playing field with 80% or 70% knowledge to start with then your decision making also right from 70 80% that is the beauty of india even every student every farmer every person can use chat gpt as a friend as a mentor as a teacher what not everything that is going to change future that is my art one more so so one uh, we'll just take two more questions sir we'll wrap up one quick question before we take a student question um if we can create another or if you would create another institution in hyderabad like replace your isb what would it be the next one what to have to do all of you has to tell <laughs> what i'm saying it is also necessity based suppose triple it has come at the time we had a need for triple it institution of excellence then all of us as start starting with post graduation phds even uh, many of you may not aware even rajiv reddy garu and me we thought at the time any graduate he may be agriculture veterinary or law anything for that matter everybody should have post graduation or some diploma course in it then it is easy for you to leverage advantage of information technology you are having proper leadership you can plan it locally nationally internationally that is where msit program we conducted at that time today i am thinking computing all these things are happening one institution of that type total automation compu computing cloud management everything how it is going to happen if you can have institutions of excellence in that field there are triple it's or computer science courses they are doing piecemeal how to integrate this and the power how to replicate that type of that also is coming in private now but one institution is there that will help that type of organization we have to think over absolutely sir so we we'll take the last question after yeah good evening sir i am anuradha i am the lead architect for the smart city living lab so my question like uh, my co professor say you always dream about smart cities so like what is your idea about the smart cities whatever is going on will there be really good 100 smart cities or more smart cities because we are really looking forward to contribute and be a part of that so i want to know your opinion because you really have a good vision which i have been seeing through past 25 years so please sir. thank you every village also should be smart village <laughs> don't be sel selfish only 100 or 50 like that what is smart most livable place if you see hyderabad people are rating most livable city why greenery if you know we used to plant 4 lakh 5 lakh trees a day at that time to demonstrate now city is full of greenery even recently city got award even if you see here when i was cm from yusuf goda we used to off and on substations I started my journey in a electricity department. 
one person will come to home he will take reading then he will go to office he will give that data they will outsource that work to a auditor he will prepare billing then bills will come to office then that bills will go to home one man will deliver from they will send one officer am revenue recovery officer he will go to that particular area they have to go and pay today you are saying smart meters reading paying everything virtual online that that stage has come what i am saying it is very interesting today either sensors iot devices robotics you know when i started hyderabad cleaning we had only day time cleaning we had only few staff all roads are very very bad condition first time in india after seeing singapore i started cleaning night cleaning outsourcing that was a big talk in the country itself so many politicians came and studied nobody implemented but we had an advantage of that so what i am saying smart city all devices have come how to provide quality life one is air pollution sound pollution dust pollution and quality of water clean water all these things we have to work it out and measure vertically horizontally and take decisions then it will go a long way that is what i am seeing i have seen you are doing excellent work but cost effective work you have to do affordable for every government then it will go a long way that also will come i have seen bullock cars now i am seeing driverless cars with electric <laughs> cars even mlas 7883 they used to give me one military jeep that jeep won't work throw it <laughs> that jeep they used to give one jeep two three telephones two three gas connections <laughs> that is the privilege for mla today telephones are relevant that jeeps nobody will use <laughs> even uh, this uh, gas everybody is having so th this is the changes so we are uh, fortunate now things are happening all of us it is a great country great nation great people we have to move forward then we can achieve anything okay but thank you smart city is very important name it smart place definitely sir we will take this advice we start a center in prof rajadi's name sir uh, called rajadi center for technology and society it has come very well good work you have to innovate new devices yes sir absolutely so as part of that center we are doing a project for government schools sir rural schools where a camera in the school can help assess the learning so it can give feedback to teachers and reduce the number of tests they give so we are trying sir but we will take your advice and we will do more uh, keeping rural in view prof rajadi pushes that a lot sir technology should, should help the bottom uh, even you can go for dropouts also <laughs> why dropouts <laughs> sir teaching or uh, sanitation or bathrooms or toilets for the girls all these things are the reason yes sir absolutely sir thank you so much it's been an amazing uh, hour and a quarter sir of interaction i wish we could do more but thank you so much for the time sir and amazingly inspiring words